So, this is my Ender 3 switchwire conversion serial request. It's just coming up to temperature. And hopefully it'll work. As you can see, I'm uh, still calibrating the roll of uh, very cheap pink silk that I'm using to make uh, a companion cube for uh, my companion. But uh, a quick tour of this. There's a Ender 3 Pro screen that uh, is in a box that I made. It's one of the first things I printed from Ender 3 V2 because it was... Uh, a bit annoying getting firmware working, either modified Marlin or Clipper, on the uh, V2 screen. So I got that, and I kind of kept it because, although it's badly over-engineered and printed awfully, I uh, really like the look of it. And uh, when the printer's stuck in the cupboard sideways, the way it usually goes, it works really well. Um, I'm probably going to put on um, the Voron. V0 mini display I've got kicking around, but that's working at the moment. Um, this is mostly Trayano's mod. I made this myself. Um, not the, the front, the uh, extension here and modified panels. Um, some of the uh, insides of this I changed because it was a little bit flimsy. Um, can we see that? Motor mount back there is uh, something of mine, just so we can fit in some of these uh, E3D Motec high torque motors, which are, I think are fairly similar to the uh, LDOs specified in the bill of materials for the vanilla switchwire. Um, apart from that, um, I don't think we've got anything too crazy going on here. Um, it's a filament motion sensor from Big Treat Tech that I've had for ages going on here. Um, switch wire up, stealth burner, um, which I really like the, the PLA cooling on, it's really good. I've um, been trying out the tool head for a while, trying to find something I liked before I built a printer around it, because if it's not a good tool head, I don't want the rest of the motion system. Um, and uh, I've got this fairly fettled. I've had the uh, input shaper on it. Um, I've been running the y-axis for a couple of months um, before I uh, put the rest of it on because I wanted to get that sorted. Um, I don't think it's particularly interesting beyond uh, some of the little tweaks that I've done. Um, I'm very tempted to get uh, I think a quick draw. Um, because the inductive sensor is, uh... I mean, I've had it a year and it's been all right. It's one that I pulled off another printer. Um, but I don't necessarily trust it when it's been hot for a while. I need to leave it to cool down before I resume another print. And uh, I think it's a quick draw. The little servo that that, that pops out. Um, and otherwise works like clicky. I think that's uh, a sensible step forwards in this. Um, I've not got the lights working yet, um, mostly because I think my uh, raft of RGBs are not quite standard. I'm getting them working with the machine. That's not particularly important or essential for a working printer. A and all of this works all right um, for a piece of failed print. Yeah, this is my uh, Ender 3 switch wire. 
can you see there's a bunch of first ball holders and uh, so much filament, so many box dry boxes. And uh, I think this stuff might be a little wet already. I think the silk's really hygroscopic or uh, is otherwise unhappy with uh, what's going on here. Um, Uh, the walls are going down okay, but uh, it's been really, really finicky to get tuned, and I'm waffling now, so I'm going to stop this video and uh, see if I get a serial number for this.